Welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I'm doing something different. I'm heading into the Dollar Tree. I'm actually joining Jessica over at Paper Terrace with her Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge. I did this a few years back when she did it before and loved it. It was my first junk journal I ever made. So I decided to head into Dollar Tree and see what I could find. I decided I wanted to go with a summer theme and when you see at the end of this or throughout the video you'll see that I'm picking out a bunch of things to do with the lemons so I really love that theme right now so I found those wood stickers they were awesome it was in the summer section right at the beginning or right in the front of the store this is my first actual shop with me in a store so I'm trying to keep inconspicuous holding my phone with one hand and trying to keep it down so I didn't, don't get too many people in there and I don't want to get in trouble for filming in the Dollar Tree so let's see I'm heading into the cards and the paper supply section and I wanted to grab one of these packages of note cards because it has I think six cards and six envelopes so you can use those and I thought that print went really well with the yellow flowers and I decided I'd, I'd go down that aisle later to find some other things but I'm gonna head down another aisle just trying to avoid the people here is the ribbon in the floral section so I decided to look through the ribbons to see what I could find I didn't find any solid colors which is what I was looking for but I did find this stripe here that had some yellows and just summer colors so I picked up that roll I also I have already some uh, of the lace the that crocheted lace that I use all the time and what Jessica really likes as well they didn't have any this time but I have some from previous trips so I'm going to use that I looked around didn't find any I was hoping to find some of the grow grain ribbon or the sheer but they there was none that time so now I'm heading into the coloring book and book section. I found this coloring book. This was really pretty. Um, that would be a great option for you to use in your journals, but I didn't find enough pages in there for it to be worth it. So I decided just to go look through some more in there. This book section was a mess. It looked like people had just been pulling out and shoving it back on the shelf. I did though find a really cool one of those adult coloring books up at the top and if you don't see it might maybe be coming back later but then I found these two cute little picture frames with the pictures and they had the one with the lemons and the one with the bees and I am currently making two bee journals to go up, my, up in my Etsy shop so I grabbed both of those and I'm going to use those in the book somehow and if you follow me you'll see how I use them and I found this tropical escape book and that one I picked up because it had lots of uh, fruits and stuff in there to go along with my theme and then there was another book another tropical here but it was more florals so I didn't pick that one up but I wanted to flip through it to show you That one's really pretty. So if you wanted to go with a tropical theme, you could. If you would like to join in in this challenge, it's if you go over to Paper Terrace, Jessica, she's doing a really informal, casual junk journal challenge again. So now I'm going, heading down the aisle with the paper party goods and I was looking for bags and things like that. I picked up this box and I think I can use this in my bee journal at first I picked it up for this journal challenge but then the colors I'm going with my bee journal is more of a golden yellow so I thought that went really well I did pick that but that up and I was looking through the other the flat bags I, I have some of those already but they don't really go with my theme and then I wanted to look and see if they had any wrapping paper, but I didn't find anything. It was mainly baby and birthday. But they have tons of baby and birthday, so if that's what you like. I did find this really cool stripe 
the yellow and it was that soft lemony yellow color so I did pick those up. I love using paper sacks in my journals for pockets and you know just another page. I'm heading down this aisle a little bit more. I wanted to look at the stickers see if there was anything that would work well. There's tons of stickers right now if you haven't been there and they have all kinds of the layered stickers and the puffy stickers and then the other ones that they always have. The planner stickers. I love that the bird stickers. Those are really cute. It had some glitter on them. These were super cute. I love the yellow in them and I picked those up because I thought those would go really well with my theme. And those vintage trucks, those are awesome. I, I didn't get them this time, but I may in another time. So I was just kind of peeking through. All the stickers were just, they were a mess, just like the books were all layered with different stickers behind them. The different sizes were all mismatched, but that's fine. It gets that way, I suppose. They had some cute chalk stickers back there, other ones, kind of hard to see. I'm attempting to pull them off. That mermaid one was really cute, if you have to do a mermaid journal. I've made a couple of mermaid journals before. So I almost thought I would pick that up, but no, I don't need any more stickers. Now I'm heading into the, I'm st still in the craft section, so I went to the paint area. I wanted to find those premium paints that Ac Acreology in a yellow, but they didn't have it. So I picked up the washable paint, the tempura paint. And then I also picked up some yellow glitter glue. And I want to try and use those two items to do some background paper and then I moved over into the section the office supplies and I was looking to see what they had as far as file folders and paper and things like that so they have these envelopes those are always great to make your fight your cover and then you just cover them or with fabric or paper but I didn't I'm not gonna do that this time I decided to pick up some file folders yellow ones to go with the theme but I was showing you the ones with the flowers I think those are really pretty I'm back in the craft section I kind of was doing little loop-de-loos around in the store because I was I kept thinking thinking of things I needed to look for so I'd go back to the aisle or there would just be too many people in the aisle so I would just go to another aisle and look there. They didn't have any paper clips, the colored paper clips at this one in the right color so I decided to get those wood clothespins, the tiny ones, so then I can I can paint them yellow and alter them and use those at the tops. And then I picked up the wood beads so I could use those yellow beads for a charm, dangle, or tassel, or whatever. And then right next to that section was the yarn. So I picked up a thing of yellow yarn. And it was just the perfect color. I also wanted to pick up the, the white and colored twine that they use, the cotton twine that they have normally, but they didn't have it this time. But I think I have some in my stash, so I might use that to go along with my tassel. And then I was trying to decide what kind of paper I wanted to pick up. I think I ended up going with this drawing pad because it's a bigger size. It's like a 9 by 12 and it dyes really nicely. So if I want to do some coffee dyeing and use my paint, it will do really well. The 
they had this stack of stationery that you put through your printer and so I was looking through those to see if maybe they had one with lemons on them but they didn't they did have a lot of cute ones though they had dogs and tropical and just like regular patterns and then I found this really cute lemon memo pad little notepad so I picked up one of those This one was super cute with the birds. So you could totally do a botanical theme. That would be really good. I have this already at home, but I wanted to show it to you. Just the yellow little notepads. So I'm going to use what I have already. I also have some large yellow notebook paper, like lined paper. I'm going to use that as well. Those were cute, some little puppy sticky notes and I do have a bunch of regular notebook paper from the Dollar Tree at my house here's that yellow paper that's what I wanted to show you I have that already I just bought that and you can I, you, I also have this pack of index cards too so I'll be able to use those I have some white ones that I already purchased from the Dollar Tree so if you don't know this challenge is it's very informal she didn't really put a whole lot of rules but she did give like try to do it at 20 or under or even less I mean you could totally do it for 10 mine's probably gonna be closer to the 20 mark I did try I did pick these up to use as my cover the yellow because I didn't I didn't find anything else that I wanted to use. There wasn't a good book that I liked, so I didn't pick up that. Didn't pick up a book. So now I'm in the section where they have the socks and the scarves and all that. So I was looking through these fabrics. I love that one right there, but it was a lime and not a lemon. I did like the strawberries because I am doing a strawberry shortcake, more strawberry shortcake journals. But I didn't pick that up. I have like tons of strawberry fabric that I found so I didn't think I needed it kind of held out I didn't find any here that I thought would go well so but I did want to show you so you could see what there was available you could do a 4th of July theme there's so much 4th of July stuff right now so that would be fun and then I went into the hair things because sometimes you can find like the ribbons uh, the little girl ribbon things and they had a bunch of those scrunchies that had the long ties on them that I thought would I would be able to use but they did they didn't have the right colors and then I went into the tablecloths and kitchen towels section because sometimes they have placemats that are fabric and they also have the towels and they have the like this towel here I picked it up because it had the lemons on it so I'll be able to cut the lemons out of there and then they had these pot holders so I picked those up and the last thing I picked up were these two pack of yellow crepe paper streamers I can use these for paper ruffles and other embellishments so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye, God bless.